exploiting other animals uh, for food, clothing, research, entertainment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, after I saw that film, there was no turning back for me. It wasn't any gradual process. I was like, I can't be a part of this insanity. Um, I, I have to find a different way. And uh, so I stopped uh, eating all animal products. Um, I came to New York, I, I met David there at the Life Cafe. David, uh, you went to the Life Cafe too, right? Yeah. story, very complicated story, but, um, well, there's complexity, it's not complicated, there's complexities, there's subtleties that I don't think we want to take up uh, a lot of time tonight talking about, but um, I'm still very active with veganism, and so is David, and um, at the time you met us, we were active vegan um, with the vegan message too. Uh, and uh, I think it uh, goes hand in hand with yoga. If you define yoga as uh, experiencing ultimate happiness, remembering God, reconnecting <coughs> to joy, yoga teaches us that um, if you want happiness, causing unhappiness to others will not bring you closer to your goal. That happiness comes to those who do all they can to bring happiness to others. So I, it's wonderful, look at you. You, you have this beautiful center, look at those. Were those there, those light fixtures? They're handmade. They're from actually the same era as this building was made. Oh, I got them handmade. So beautiful. The <laughs> colors are nice. And Joe's wants me to give him the microphone. Um, I'm, just, I'm just kind of like, I'm just in awe of everything and seeing you like this morning walking and you don't change. You look the same. He never gets old. You don't either. I was at the Botox this morning. <laughs> well, there's a vegan Botox now. <laughs> I didn't know this. I, I was in Berlin. Um, uh, Jules and I were in Berlin. And uh, we were actually having a conversation with a student who happens to be a plastic surgeon. And he says, you know, there's a vegan Botox now. And we're like, got to make a note of that. <laughs> but, um, of course, any any time that you can uh, diminish suffering is good. So if you, if you if you need to have your Botox, get it get it vegan. You know, it's a good idea. And Jules wants me to give him this microphone. Just before I do, I want to um, acknowledge another very important person in the Jewelty community who is here, and that's Golinda. Yay. So good to see you. Please, uh, do you all know this incredible holy being? Please stand up and introduce yourself. Say hello to the wonderful people here. We go way back also. Yes. Used to be a teacher at uh, our school in New York City. And uh, you know, I often see you when I'm traveling. I mean, you know, in, in Japan, I see you in different places, yeah. And uh, we have another visitor, Emma Henry, who's come from London. Emma, Emma, please stand up and say hello to everyone. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Emma will be uh, facilitating our GMT teacher training this coming springtime. I'm really excited about that. 